public service announcement. If you're packing to go on a trip somewhere, I don't care if it's Vegas or Uranus, pun intended, please pack toilet paper. Every single person always makes fun of me for packing toilet paper, but it always comes in handy at some point during the trip. It doesn't matter if you're staying at a friend's house, an Airbnb, or even a hotel. At some point, same people that are making fun of you are gonna be asking you for that roll of toilet paper and you're gonna smirk in their face and be like, who the balls now? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel via Blue. I am going to teach you guys how to pack for Vegas, not really Vegas, pretty much anywhere, but I'm going to Vegas. Okay, now that that is out of my system, roll the clips. Okay guys, so always have a list with you. This list is gonna help you know exactly what to pack. And it's even better if this list has subcategories like hygienic stuff, technology, even recreational stuff. <laughs> okay, that last category was kind of ridiculous. Like really, who packs card decks with them? Am I right? Anyways, make sure you keep this list in a very safe place because when you come back home, this list is gonna also help you know exactly what you brought and exactly what you should take back. That way you'll never even forget a sock. Hygienic products tend to take up a lot of space for me, and even if they don't, they tend to weigh a lot, and that is a no bueno, especially for those airlines that have really strict weight limits. Look at you, spirit. To counteract this, buy small compact bottles from the dollar store and just pour your products in there. That way, you're gonna take up way less room and it's gonna be way lighter. And I know people are gonna be like, Violet, I can just go to the closest drugstore and buy the travel sizes, but why do that if you already have the product at home? Might as well save money. And then you can just label them after to know exactly what they are. See, that looks so much better. Even Harley agrees. Don't you, Polos? Don't you? For people who have iPhone headphones or iPhone chargers, please, uncles and aunties, initial them. That way you'll never get it mixed up with someone else's. And make sure you put tape over them, that way the initials are there and don't wipe off. That way if someone's like, oh wow, that's my charge, you'll be like, BAM! It's not uncool. Now what? What are you gonna say? Always pack an extra plastic bag for dirty clothes, socks, and underwear. Maybe even two. Pack your clothes last. After you have all the essentials in your luggage, you'll see the exact room you have for your clothes, and this will help you pack way less. Speaking of clothes, roll them up like I just did. This will help you save more space and have even more space for all the clothes you need. And if you want to really badly, just pack your dog too. <laughs> you wanna go on the trip, Polos? There you have it, guys. And that concludes how to pack for Vegas or, you know, anywhere else really, you know. I'm just trying to sneak the whole Vegas thing in there because, you know, I can't really contain myself. Anyways, I hope some of those tips actually helped you. I'll see you guys here next week. I would say same time, same place, different content, but because of my travelings, I probably won't post it on Friday, um, on Saturday. It might be a bit earlier or it might be a bit later, but I don't want to um, restrict myself from having my fun time. So definitely next week you'll see a video and I'll see you next week. Um, same place, not the same time, <laughs> and different content. See you guys. See you guys. Yeah, see you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>